Imagine you're in the middle of a hectic day, deadlines looming, and everything seems to be going wrong. Your stress levels are through the roof, and you just want to hit pause on life for a moment. Can you relate? We've all been there. Life throws curveballs at us when we least expect it, leaving us feeling frazzled and out of control. But what if I told you there's a way to find peace and calmness, even in the midst of chaos? Enter Stoicism, an ancient philosophy with practical lessons for navigating the ups and downs of everyday life. It's like having a secret weapon for staying cool, calm, and collected, no matter what life throws your way. In this video, we're going to dive into 10 simple yet powerful lessons from Stoicism to help you keep calm in any situation. Think of it as your personal guide to finding Zen amidst the madness of modern life. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more tips on living your best life. Now, let's learn how to embrace Stoic wisdom and reclaim our inner peace. Lesson 1. Acceptance of what you can't control. In the fast, paced, and often unpredictable world we live in, it's easy to become overwhelmed by the sheer number of things outside of our control. From traffic jams to unexpected setbacks at work, there are countless situations that can trigger feelings of frustration, anxiety, or stress. Stoicism teaches us the importance of accepting these circumstances for what they are, rather than wasting precious mental and emotional energy trying to change them. At its core, the first lesson of Stoicism is about distinguishing between what is within our sphere of influence and what lies beyond it. This concept is often referred to as the dichotomy of control. According to Stoic philosophy, there are certain things in life that we have the power to change, such as our thoughts, actions, and attitudes. These are the things we should focus on and strive to improve. On the other hand, there are external factors that are beyond our control, such as the weather, other people's behavior, or global events. While we may wish things were different, the reality is that we cannot change these aspects of our lives. Instead of resisting or fighting against them, Stoicism encourages us to practice acceptance and embrace the present moment as it is. By adopting this mindset, we free ourselves from the burden of trying to micromanage every aspect of our lives. We learn to let go of the need for perfection and find peace in the midst of chaos. Rather than being at the mercy of external circumstances, we reclaim our power by focusing on how we choose to respond to them. Practicing acceptance doesn't mean passively resigning ourselves to fate or becoming indifferent to the world around us. Instead, it empowers us to approach life with a sense of equanimity and resilience. When we accept the things we cannot change, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and opportunities for growth. In essence, the first lesson of Stoicism reminds us that while we may not always have control over what happens to us, we always have control over how we choose to react. By embracing acceptance, we cultivate inner peace and strength that enables us to weather life's storms with grace and dignity. Lesson 2. View from Above the view from above is a powerful stoic exercise that invites us to take a step back and gain perspective on our lives and the world around us. It involves imagining ourselves observing our lives from a higher vantage point, as if we were looking down from the heavens. This exercise helps us transcend our immediate concerns and see the bigger picture, allowing us to gain clarity and insight into our circumstances. At its core, the view from above encourages us to adopt a more expansive and holistic perspective on life. Instead of getting caught up in the minutiae of daily existence, we zoom out and consider the grand scheme of things. From this elevated viewpoint, the trivialities and challenges of our everyday lives appear insignificant in comparison to the vastness of the cosmos. By practicing the view from above, we come to realize that our individual worries and anxieties are just a small part of the greater tapestry of existence. We recognize the interconnectedness of all things and our place within the broader fabric of reality. 
This shift in perspective can be incredibly liberating as it helps us detach from our ego-driven concerns and embrace a more inclusive and compassionate outlook. Moreover, the view from above fosters a sense of humility and awe in the face of the universe's majesty. It reminds us of our shared humanity and the universal experiences that bind us together as human beings. No matter our individual circumstances or struggles, we are all united by the common journey of life. Practicing the view from above also serves as a powerful antidote to egocentrism and self-absorption. It encourages us to transcend our limited sense of self and identify with something greater than ourselves. By expanding our awareness beyond the confines of our own egos, we cultivate a sense of interconnectedness with all living beings and the natural world. Ultimately, the view from above is a profound exercise in perspective. Taking that can transform how we relate to ourselves, others, and the world at large. By regularly practicing this stoic technique, we develop greater wisdom, empathy, and resilience in the face of life's challenges. We come to appreciate the beauty and complexity of existence and find solace in the knowledge that we are but a small part of something much greater than ourselves. Lesson 3. Negative Visualization Negative visualization is a stoic practice that involves deliberately contemplating worst-case scenarios or imagining the loss of things we hold dear. While this may seem counterintuitive or even pessimistic, the purpose of negative visualization is to cultivate gratitude, resilience, and equanimity in the face of adversity. At its core, negative visualization is about preparing ourselves mentally and emotionally for life's inevitable challenges and setbacks. By envisioning potential hardships or losses, we become better equipped to handle them if and when they occur. This practice helps us develop a sense of perspective and appreciation for the things we often take for granted. One of the key insights of Stoicism is the recognition of the impermanent nature of all things. By acknowledging the transience of life and the inevitability of change, we learn to cherish the present moment and the people and things in our lives more deeply. Negative visualization serves as a reminder to not only appreciate what we have, but also to be prepared for its eventual loss. Moreover, negative visualization helps us cultivate resilience and emotional fortitude in the face of adversity. By confronting our fears and anxieties head on, we diminish their power over us and build inner strength and resilience. Rather than being blindsided by unexpected challenges, we approach life with a sense of readiness and preparedness. Additionally, negative visualization fosters a sense of gratitude and contentment with what we have. When we imagine the absence of something we value, whether it's our health, relationships, or material possessions, we come to appreciate their true worth. This practice encourages us to savor the present moment and cultivate a deep sense of gratitude for the blessings in our lives. Ultimately, negative visualization is a powerful tool for cultivating resilience, gratitude, and perspective in our lives. By embracing the stoic practice of contemplating worst-case scenarios, we learn to navigate life's challenges with grace and dignity. We develop a deeper appreciation for the fleeting nature of existence and find solace in the knowledge that we have the inner resources to weather life's storms. Lesson 4. Practice Virtue At the heart of Stoicism lies the idea that living a virtuous life is the key to true happiness and fulfillment. Stoic virtues, including wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, serve as guiding principles for moral conduct and ethical behavior. Embracing these virtues allows individuals to cultivate inner strength, integrity, and excellence in all aspects of life. Wisdom, in Stoicism, involves the pursuit of knowledge, understanding, and sound judgment. It's about developing clarity of thought and making informed decisions based on reason rather than emotion. Practicing wisdom entails continuously seeking to deepen our understanding of ourselves, others, and the world around us. 2. Courage 
Courage is the virtue of facing fear and adversity with strength and resilience. In Stoicism, courage is not limited to physical bravery, but also encompasses moral courage. The willingness to stand up for what is right, even in the face of opposition or hardship. By cultivating courage, individuals can overcome obstacles and live with integrity and conviction. 3. Justice Justice involves treating others with fairness, kindness, and respect. It's about upholding moral principles and promoting the common good. In Stoicism, justice is viewed as a fundamental aspect of living in harmony with nature and fulfilling our social obligations to others. Practicing justice allows individuals to contribute positively to society and cultivate meaningful relationships based on mutual trust and respect. 4. Temperance Temperance, or self-control, is the virtue of mastering our desires and impulses. It involves moderation in all things and the ability to resist temptation and excess. In Stoicism, temperance is seen as essential for maintaining inner peace and living in accordance with reason and virtue. By practicing temperance, individuals can achieve greater self-discipline, balance, and tranquility in their lives. By striving to embody these virtues in our thoughts, actions, and interactions, we align ourselves with the principles of Stoic philosophy and cultivate a sense of inner harmony and well-being. While the pursuit of virtue may be challenging at times, it ultimately leads to a life of greater meaning, purpose, and fulfillment. Lesson 5. Focus on the present moment. In a world filled with distractions and constant demands for our attention, the practice of focusing on the present moment is a powerful tool for cultivating peace, clarity, and mindfulness. Lesson 5 in Stoicism emphasizes the importance of being fully present and engaged in the here and now, rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. At its core, focusing on the present moment involves bringing awareness to our thoughts, feelings, and sensations as they arise in the present moment. Instead of being lost in regrets about the past or anxieties about the future, we anchor ourselves in the present moment, experiencing life as it unfolds in real time. One of the key insights of Stoicism is that the only moment we truly have control over is the present moment. The past is beyond our grasp, and the future is uncertain and unpredictable. By focusing our attention on the present moment, we can make the most of our lives and respond to challenges with clarity and purpose. Moreover, practicing presence allows us to cultivate a deeper appreciation for the richness and beauty of everyday life. When we are fully present, we notice the small moments of joy, wonder, and connection that often go unnoticed when our minds are preoccupied with worries or distractions. Focusing on the present moment also helps to alleviate stress and anxiety by grounding us in reality. When we are fully present, we are better able to respond to challenges with calmness and clarity, rather than reacting impulsively or getting caught up in negative thinking patterns. One technique for cultivating present moment awareness is mindfulness meditation, which involves paying attention to the present moment with openness, curiosity, and acceptance. By practicing mindfulness regularly, we train our minds to become more focused, resilient, and compassionate. Ultimately, Lesson 5 in Stoicism reminds us that the present moment is the only moment we truly have control over. By learning to focus our attention on the here and now, we can cultivate a deeper sense of peace, clarity, and fulfillment in our lives. Lesson 6. Maintain Equanimity Maintaining equanimity, or inner tranquility, is a fundamental aspect of Stoic philosophy that emphasizes the importance of remaining calm and composed in the face of life's challenges and uncertainties. Lesson 6 teaches us how to cultivate a sense of inner peace and stability, regardless of external circumstances. At its core, maintaining equanimity involves developing a sense of emotional resilience and detachment from the ups and downs of life. Rather than being swept away by our emotions or reactive impulses, we strive to remain grounded and centered in the midst of adversity. 
One of the key insights of Stoicism is the recognition that external events are beyond our control. But we always have the power to choose our response. By cultivating equanimity, we learn to accept the inevitability of change and uncertainty, while also maintaining a sense of inner calm and stability. Moreover, maintaining equanimity allows us to navigate life's challenges with clarity and perspective. When we are able to step back from our immediate reactions and see the bigger picture, we can respond to situations with wisdom and discernment rather than being driven by fear or impulsivity. Practicing equanimity also helps to cultivate resilience in the face of adversity by learning to accept and adapt to life's inevitable ups and downs we become more adept at bouncing back from setbacks and overcoming obstacles with grace and resilience. One technique for cultivating equanimity is mindfulness meditation, which involves observing our thoughts, feelings, and sensations with non-judgmental awareness. By developing the ability to witness our experiences without becoming attached to them, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and equanimity. Ultimately, Maintaining equanimity is about finding balance and harmony within ourselves, regardless of the external circumstances. By cultivating a sense of inner tranquility, we can navigate life's challenges with grace, resilience, and wisdom. Lesson 7. The Dichotomy of Control Lesson 7 in Stoicism introduces the concept of the dichotomy of control which is a fundamental principle for managing our mental and emotional well-being. This concept teaches us to distinguish between things that are within our control and those that are not, and to focus our attention and efforts on what we can influence. At its core, the dichotomy of control reminds us that external events, circumstances, and other people's actions are largely beyond our control. However, our thoughts, attitudes, and behaviors are within our sphere of influence. By recognizing and accepting this distinction, we can free ourselves from unnecessary stress, anxiety, and frustration. Stoicism teaches us that the only things truly within our control are our thoughts, actions, and attitudes. We have the power to choose how we respond to external events and circumstances, even if we cannot control them directly. By focusing on what is within our control, we can cultivate a sense of agency and empowerment in our lives. Moreover, embracing the dichotomy of control allows us to let go of the need to micromanage or manipulate external factors instead of wasting our energy and resources trying to change things beyond our control. We can redirect our efforts towards areas where we can make a meaningful difference. One of the key insights of Stoicism is that our peace of mind and well-being are not dependent on external circumstances, but rather on our internal state of mind. By accepting the things we cannot change and focusing on what we can control, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and resilience, regardless of the challenges we face. Practicing the dichotomy of control requires mindfulness and self-awareness. It involves regularly examining our thoughts and beliefs to identify where we may be placing undue emphasis on things beyond our control. By cultivating a mindset of acceptance and focusing on what is within our sphere of influence, we can live more authentically and with greater peace of mind. Ultimately, embracing the dichotomy of control is about relinquishing our attachment to outcomes and learning to find contentment and fulfillment in the present moment. By focusing our attention and efforts on what we can control, we can live more purposefully and with greater clarity and resilience. Lesson 8. Practice Self-Discipline Lesson 8 in Stoicism emphasizes the importance of practicing self-discipline as a means of achieving inner strength, mastery over our desires, and living in accordance with reason and virtue. Self-discipline is the ability to regulate and control our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in pursuit of our goals and values, even in the face of temptation or adversity. At its core, self-discipline is about cultivating a sense of mastery and autonomy over our lives. It involves making conscious choices and exerting willpower to align our actions with our long-term goals and values 
rather than being driven by momentary impulses or desires. Stoicism teaches us that true freedom and happiness come from living in accordance with reason and virtue, rather than being enslaved by our passions or desires. By practicing self-discipline, we can overcome the tyranny of our impulses and live with greater integrity, authenticity, and inner peace. Moreover, self-discipline is a key component of personal growth and self-improvement. It requires us to challenge ourselves, step outside of our comfort zones, and embrace discomfort and uncertainty in pursuit of our goals. By cultivating self-discipline, we can break free from limiting beliefs and behaviors and unlock our full potential. One of the key insights of Stoicism is that self-discipline is a skill that can be developed and strengthened over time through practice and repetition. By adopting habits and routines that support our goals and values, we can gradually build the discipline necessary to overcome obstacles and achieve success in all areas of life. Practicing self-discipline also fosters a sense of self-mastery and inner confidence. When we are able to control our impulses and resist temptations, we gain a sense of agency and empowerment over our lives. This, in turn, enhances our sense of self-esteem and resilience in the face of adversity. Ultimately, self-discipline is a foundational virtue in Stoic philosophy that empowers us to live with greater purpose, integrity, and resilience. By cultivating self-discipline, we can overcome obstacles, achieve our goals, and live with greater clarity, fulfillment, and peace of mind. Lesson 9. Embrace Impermanence Lesson 9 in Stoicism centers around the concept of embracing impermanence. The recognition that all things, including our experiences, emotions, relationships, and material possessions, are transient and subject to change. Rather than resisting or fearing impermanence, Stoicism teaches us to accept it as an inherent aspect of the human condition and to find peace and contentment in the midst of life's constant flux. At its core, Embracing impermanence involves letting go of attachment to outcomes and embracing the ebb and flow of life with equanimity and grace. It is about recognizing that nothing in this world is permanent or guaranteed and that clinging to things or experiences only leads to suffering and discontentment. One of the key insights of Stoicism is that attachment to external things, whether it be wealth, status, or relationships, only leads to suffering and dissatisfaction. By recognizing the impermanent nature of all things, we can free ourselves from the bondage of attachment and find greater peace and contentment within ourselves. Moreover, embracing impermanence allows us to fully appreciate and savor the present moment. When we let go of expectations or desires for things to be different, we can fully immerse ourselves in the richness and beauty of life as it unfolds without being weighed down by regrets about the past or anxieties about the future. Practicing impermanence also fosters resilience and adaptability in the face of change. When we embrace the inevitability of change, we become more adept at navigating life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. Rather than being thrown off course by unexpected events or setbacks, we can respond to challenges with flexibility and resilience knowing that change is a natural and inevitable part of life. Ultimately, embracing impermanence is about finding peace and contentment in the midst of life's uncertainties. By letting go of attachment to outcomes and embracing the impermanent nature of all things, we can cultivate a deeper sense of inner peace, resilience, and fulfillment in our lives. Lesson 10. Live in accordance with nature. Lesson 10 in Stoicism emphasizes the importance of living in accordance with nature, aligning our thoughts, actions, and values with the natural order of the universe. This principle encourages us to embrace the inherent interconnectedness of all things and to recognize our place within the broader context of the cosmos. At its core, living in accordance with nature involves recognizing that we are part of a larger whole and that our well-being is intimately connected to the well-being of the world around us. 
It is about living in harmony with the rhythms of nature and cultivating a sense of reverence and respect for all living beings. One of the key insights of Stoicism is that human beings are inherently social creatures, and our flourishing depends on our ability to live in harmony with others and the natural world. By recognizing our interconnectedness with all living beings, we can cultivate compassion, empathy, and a sense of responsibility towards others and the planet. Moreover, living in accordance with nature encourages us to embrace the inherent uncertainties and fluctuations of life. Rather than resisting or fighting against the natural order of things, we learn to accept and adapt to change with grace and equanimity. This, in turn, fosters resilience and inner peace in the face of life's challenges. Practicing living in accordance with nature also involves cultivating a sense of humility and awe in the face of the majesty and complexity of the universe. By recognizing our small place within the vastness of the cosmos, we can develop a deeper appreciation for the beauty and wonder of existence. Ultimately, living in accordance with nature is about finding our true place within the world and aligning our lives with the principles of harmony, balance, and interconnectedness. By embracing this principle, we can cultivate a deeper sense of purpose meaning and fulfillment in our lives and contribute to the well-being of all living beings on our planet. In conclusion, Stoicism provides us with invaluable lessons that can guide us through life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. From accepting what we cannot change to living in accordance with nature, each principle offers us a pathway to finding inner peace and fulfillment. As we reflect on these lessons, Let's remember that Stoicism is not just a philosophy to be studied, but a way of life to be practiced. I encourage you to integrate these teachings into your daily routine, to seek moments of mindfulness and gratitude, and to share your experiences with others. Whether it's finding peace in the midst of chaos, embracing change with courage, or cultivating gratitude in the face of adversity, Stoicism offers a roadmap for living a life of meaning and purpose. If you found value in this video and are inspired to embark on your own Stoic journey, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us continue to create content that inspires and empowers others to live with intention and purpose. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay mindful, stay resilient, and stay Stoic.